What's up guys? It's King Daddy DMAC and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. We're on my single player world. Right in my base, right where we left off last time. I believe we're working on this slime farm. Still got a lot of work to do on this. Um gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about the layers. I think I may have to redo the whole thing if I want to change what they are, or just rip this top part out. But we add it in so that we could turn it on and off. We always figure out a way to do it. And we can see water goes all in down there. But this top part, see all that redstone? If we had the same thing happen, yeah, it would wash away all the redstone. So we'll figure something out. It's not a biggie. Anyway, it's been a little while. And I've been trying to think about what I want to do today. Um, you may remember, if you've been watching me for a while, a long time ago, I kind of showed a sneak peek to an area that I wanted to, I kind of scouted out in the nether that had a dual blaze spawner and also looked to be a decent place to maybe start up a uh, little wither farm. So I wanted to try and, you know, scout out, try and find where that is today and uh, maybe get some type of track going to it. So I think it was within a thousand blocks. And by the way, guys, if you want to scout things out in my world, I do list what my world seed is on my YouTube channel wall, King Daddy DMAC. And uh, you could also, I usually put world downloads when I can. But anyway, let's sort of head over into the nether and see what we can find. It's been, wow, it might even been close to a year since I scouted that out. Let's see, are we prepared enough? Let's grab a few other things before we go. And we also got to tear this guy out real soon. I've been putting it off and putting it off. And I don't know whether... Guys, let me know if we should just blow it all up with TNT right here to clear it out. Or if I should do it with a uh, just a pickaxe. But that's going to have to go. Otherwise, we're never going to get the base finished. So, let's see. I think our potions are actually over here now. Let's see if we have some already pre-made up. Got some instant health splash potions. Got a fire potion. That doesn't look like it's full capacity of what we want. And these are all to kill the mobs. So let's see what we have back over here. Anyway, guys, how have you been? I know, it's been almost a month since we uploaded the last video. And I do apologize about that. Things have just been oh so nutty. I don't know... How many of you that watch this series also follow my Feed the Beast series? Let's grab some speed potions too. And why the heck not? We'll just grab a little bit of everything. Have that all handy and ready. You know, I should probably grab another better sword too. But anyway, yeah, lots going on. At first, I had just lost my wisdom teeth. You don't really lose your wisdom teeth. I had my wisdom teeth taken out. And that kind of put me behind a while, and I think that's when we did the last episode, right before I got my teeth out. Now, shortly after that, and all of you should know this, I guess we'll just take you. Don't really want to waste diamonds in case we die. We had that mishap last time with the slime. Um, my girlfriend's father passed away, and it was pretty sad. He, he is older. He's probably about 15 years older than her mother so it's not like he was a young man or anything but it's still very upsetting and uh she's laos so uh laos is from the uh, you know somewhere in asia without getting too specific and um their culture she's buddhist and it's very different than what i'm used to um in, and I don't know if it's all Buddhism or just Laos Buddhism, but basically, when someone passes away, you have, um, you know, normally, at least in American culture, you know, you, you just see close family. And the only time that you'd see anyone else, you know, really friends and stuff is mainly like at the wake and stuff like that. But with uh, Laos or with the Buddhism and the Laos culture, it's like. Every person they ever knew or met comes over, and um, it, it was almost just like a big party. Not like necessarily a happy time party, 
but you know it, it was everybody was just partying and the family is i think the people that are coming over are supposed to so, you know take care of the family and cater to the family so they don't have to do anything and you know people did that but i mean it was just nuts i was i was helping look after all the people that were there and you know make sure everything's okay and socialize and i don't know now this went on he passed away on a saturday her father and this went on from like that next day until the funeral that was a week later so like every single day there was and i i, I want to say like 50 to 100 people over their house and just all these family members and friends that i had never met it was like every person they ever met <laughs> and that knew the father knew anyone in the family and she has four brothers and sisters and she's the youngest so a lot of them are older and have their own kids and and everything and it was just nuts i tell you man i was about to say let's set up a waypoint so we can find our way back <laughs> let's look at where are we all right quick note on where we are okay so i'm over there and i'm just kind of helping them out you know w with whatever they needed getting more food getting more alcohol getting um just anything and staying there so it was it was a big shock to me i was not used to that and it didn't really leave much time for like mourning for for my girlfriend um or for her family but i guess that's just what they're used to and it's kind of good because you know it gets you to not really have to think much about you know what just happened and just being all sad but being happy about all the different people that uh knew her father and knew them and everything like that so it, it was interesting it was just crazy um, so I wasn't home. I wasn't able to record at all during that time. I had, I think, one or two pre-recorded videos that I put up. Let's get through here. Hopefully we'll find a tunnel on the other side. So then after that, it's just, it took me a while to get back into the recording mood again. Um, after all those things. And I, I spend every weekend at my girlfriend's anyway. So like right now I'm recording. It's Friday. And as soon as I finish this, going to render, upload, and then, oh, oh, do I have, of course I have blocks, I would, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> at least we didn't need that, um, what are we going to do about you, that's not good, maybe I shouldn't be doing this, maybe we'll just walk around, um, so yeah, it took me a little while to get back into the swing of things, and I know I had a lot of feed the beasts in a row, I don't want you guys to worry about that, you know, like thinking the series is going to stop or anything along those matters. But it's just so, you know, if I'm in a rush and I kind of don't have a lot of time and I have to get a video up for you guys, that usually is the thing that I turn to first because there's just so much to do. You know, here, is, this is going to take me forever just to go to this one spot, whereas in Feed the Beast, I'd be able to just fly there and... Oh, oh no in like 20 seconds shit shit no 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 oh that was a close one yeah but I'd, i mean i'd be there already i wouldn't be having to deal with the shenanigans and i don't know how the heck i'm gonna get back either it's gonna take a while so it's a lot easier when i found this in creative mode okay so Anyway, that just tends to be what I turn to first, and it is what I play more often. It's just, there's more to do. Here, we've done most everything. We have a Wither Skull farm to set up. We could do, like, some wool spawners. But, you know, at this point, it just basically comes down to being somewhat creative and, you know, just making up derpy things to do. You know, or go to redstone or just big building projects. Ooh, quartz. So, whereas with Feed the Beast, though, there'd still be, we'd just be brushing the surface of getting started. So, I mean, that's just why it's fun. It's just adding new stuff to the game. It's Minecraft point part two. The adventure continues. So, anyway, I've been rambling for a while. And that's kind of my story. And it did take about, you know, after the first week of getting my wisdom teeth out, it was tolerable. I could talk. But it's still up to up to almost two and a half weeks later. It still hurt pretty bad. Wearing my headphones hurts a lot. It doesn't anymore, but it did. 
just from it pushing on my jaw. Wow, there's a lot of quartz here. So where are we right now? Let's see. At three. I think this was only about a thousand blocks out. We're only about 500 out. I think this, is that Z? Yeah. So I got about another 500 blocks to go. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to collect some of this quartz. And just so that we don't spend all episode derping. Why don't I cut out? And once we get there, if we get there, I'll cut back in. All right, as you can see, only another few blocks forward, but um, came across another fortress. I'm pretty sure this isn't the one that I'm looking for, but we might as well follow this through. See if there's anything to shine in. All right, and are you going to continue on, or are you going to make me regret having come down into you, into your belly? Ooh, look at this. Pop down here. Anything? Anything? Let's run down here. Now we're still only about five. Oh, are those wit? All right, we're not going to go that way because I don't even yeah, have barely any armor. And there's a blaze spawner right behind us. We're like dirt. That's actually kind of an interesting looking spot right there. But not important. Not the one we want. This we want to find ideally if we're going to be trying to capture withers is to find an area that's primarily surrounded by lava and this one is <laughs> definitely not that this is completely buried and this is basically so it's because withers of course no mobs can spawn on lava um, or on any liquid so that's going to be what's important anyway we'll cut back out this one definitely isn't of interest all right, guys, I think we're getting close. Big Lava Lake there, and I can see what looks like another fortress in the distance here. And this could be it. I thought that it had more lava around it, but this one is, it isn't lava. So this might be it. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. I'm sick of rendering new chunks in here. This is, it's kind of strange. It seems like... We're actually rendering chunks slower here than we do in Feed the Beast. So I don't know if there's something up with that. Is this it? Alright, let's cut our way in. I guess we could do it right here. Uh-oh, kind of an eerie feeling. These things are pretty lethal though now, being able to have all these mobs just spawning on it. All right, not quite there. Okay, good. Well, at least that's not a lava drop. Hey, Mr. Blaze. How much more time do we have? Another three minutes. All right, so we don't really have to worry. They can't really harm us. Ooh, this is a nice one. This is pretty big. Oh, I think this is it, guys. Check it out. One blaze spawner. Is this it? Oh, don't hurt my blaze spawners. Look at it. Oh, sweet. All right, I hope I brought enough torches to light this up. Get out of here, blaze. Oh, we don't want... Oh, lordy. Please help me. Stop it. Just get this guy out of the way. Anybody else? Okay. So, where can we get a good view of this? Here we go. Check that out. Freaking sweet generation. They are pretty close. I can't remember. They might be too close where they obstruct each other's spawning, but perfect height. Out in the open, we are going to have to do a dual blaze spawner. Absolutely. Anyway, this is getting pretty nutty. So let's go check out... A stronghold a little bit more see if there's anything else oh that is just the coolest generation i've seen now each fortress i believe the maximum they can have is two blaze spawners and now the only way to get a triple spawner which i definitely don't think we're gonna have here probably will i don't know if i'll ever see one in my life just coming across it 
myself but you have to have two fortresses that just happen to be next to each other and then have two of the spawners in one fortress next to each other plus one of the spawners from the other one so i would assume it's it would be nearly impossible but it is possible I would think a quad blaze spawner is the most you'll ever see because I don't think more than two fortresses can really be up a ne uh, next to each other. But it looks like this is all just one. Now there's another fortress over there too. Let's see if we can find our way over to it. How much more time? Another minute. And that's cool. We have all the quartz generation here. And let's scout out where we would want to do the wither farm. I think in these cross sections, this is kind of... Ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. Go away. Go away. I think those cross sections are the best. I'm going to cut out for a minute and just let... Get out of here, buddy. Let this generate a tad bit better because I'm getting pretty shaky frame rate. All right, guys. So I found a spot. Got a little bit better of a vantage point so we can really scope out this fortress. So we got the dual blaze spawner, which is cool. Now, the ideal spots that we're trying to look for, I believe, are these cross sections. Now, this one's decent. It's it's pretty well surrounded by lava. Um, but this is where we're going to see the most withers spawning, because I believe it can extend past where these are into like a big square. Now, the ideal setup would be to find like three or four of these all across here and then all surrounded by lava so this wasn't quite as good as i remembered but i'll have to check into i mean that's a pretty condensed area there too so i'll have to relook at how withers spawn exactly and we'll figure something out but either way this is this is pretty well covered with the lava it's going to be better than we have so far anyway plus we have the dual blaze spawner which is just epic but i think today what I'd like to do, we're not going to get straight to work. We're probably going to spend at least the next one or two episodes after this working on that blaze spawner and then start working on this wither farm. But we need to make a pathway from our spawn house to over here. So spawn, the nether spawn, should be directly that way. So I think I'm going to want to get up into the roof somehow and uh, just start digging all the way back and then we can put a uh, mine uh, mine <laughs> a mine cart rail headed all the way down here a mine cart track but yeah we're getting a lot of withers spawning in here so anyway guys let me start to get that set up a pathway up there and uh, we'll cut back oh man this is pretty scary we are pretty dang high up what are we at why 111 Oh man, I think I might die if I fall from this high, but just got to straight shoot all the way up. We're going to have to encase this because we're going to be kind of messed up if a gas comes and blows away our little path, but we're going to keep on going up all the way and the safest spot to make a, uh, a track would probably be all the way up at the upper bedrock. I don't know if all you guys know that. You should know that. Anyway, that anyone that's been playing Minecraft for a long time, not even for that long, but gone exploring in the nether, you know that it's kind of like a cave world. You got bedrock both on the bottom and the top. And see, there we go. So that level right there looks like it's going to be safest. We shouldn't have any bedrock going below that. Cool. So this is almost a straight shot all the way back. So I'm going to dig us all the way back to spawn. It's going to be incredibly boring. So I'll see you when we get there. Holy cow, that freaking took forever. It's like <laughs> maybe two hours later. Thousand blocks. Woo. Real, real long haul. Um, for the most part, it's all straight. I'm not going to even bother going up there. It's going to take too long. I wanted to try and get tracks on it today, but I think we're going to have to wait till next time. And this empties out, and I may adjust this, but for now, I've got full inventory to go through several picks. Ah! Several picks in doing this. 
But for now... Oh. No, don't shoot at me. Where's my bow? Ate it. Oh, is there more than one? Okay. Put the fire out. Put the fire out. So anyway, it empties out right over here. Which is, I guess, a good good spot. We got our current blaze spawner. So I'm thinking for the design for the new one. I don't know if I'll be able to fit two separate cells. They might have to be all in the same exact one. And we'll have to play around. We'll probably just do a piston push similar to this. But um, anyway, guys, I think that's going to about wrap up this episode for today. Why don't we run over? It's been a month since we've done donations. But I will get on this, on the ball, on getting this project going. So we should... I want to say probably by Wednesday or maybe maybe in Friday. I don't know because it's Friday now, but we should have the next part up and I'll probably be working on the path actually there. We probably won't get to the actual spawner as of yet. I want to have a good way getting there and back. But uh, yeah, let me take a look at the new donations and uh, we'll get those new signs up. All right, guys, here we are at the Donations Monument. It's that time again. So anyway, um, if you guys, if you're new and you don't know what this is, it's the end of every one of my single-player episodes. Um, I ask for donations, and this is to help me save up for a better computer, mostly, um, really at this point, it's so that I can upload videos faster, I can render them faster, and get them out faster for you. But um, what I'm doing is a thank you to anyone that does donate towards this cause. Um, I've been asking for if you did $5 or over, um, I will put you in the donations monument as well as um, give you a little shout out at the end of the video. So let me go through what the new donations are. Today we have Grant G. And he didn't give me a YouTube, but he told me he wanted me to check out Panda. 49.94. So it's not his YouTube, but guys, he donated and that's what he wants. So guys, go check out Panda 49.94. Donated $10 on 4.10.13. Thank you so much. And he wanted to have on top of his thing a glowstone lamp. So there you go, buddy. Thank you so much. Next, we have Peter L. Donated $5. Thank you so much, Peter. Very appreciated. And we have. Andrew P., who goes on YouTube by Scratch My Butt 1996, and he donated 1996. Thank you so much, Andrew. I'm not going to call you by Thank You Scratch My Butt. <laughs> but anyway, he asked for something I thought was kind of clever. Um, yeah, I do have a dragon egg, and people make a request that I put something on their monument, as long as it's not going to drive me crazy doing. Um, I do my best to try and oblige, and he asks for the dragon egg. And I say, well, you know what? We don't really have a good use for it yet, so why not? There you go. You got it. And I know everybody's be like, oh, why didn't I ask for it? But that's where it will be for now. Um, I think that's everything. Now, last time I did make the comment that I will still put up a sign in my world if you donate under $5, but I'm not going to take the time to do a shout out. Every little bit does count, and this is the last time I'm going to do it, because I did it last time, but I want to be clear about that. Um, anyway, these are the donators from since last video that did under $5, but that's still okay. It still helps out so very much. We have Gustav, who donated $3 on 410. Thank you so much, buddy. We have, I thought this was very cute, um, Vikram, who left me a little pronunciation of how to pronounce his name and everything said it was his 12th birthday and he wanted a cake now again this is the last time i'm going to do it for um the smaller donations but vikram vikram happy birthday i hope you enjoy it enjoy that cake be there forever we have neil p who donated 19 cents thank you it's probably more like 50 cents but paypal takes their chunk and we have finally I'm a gamer 73. Thank you so much, buddy. And guys, this is his YouTube channel, so go check him out. Anyway, 
I know it's a little bit shorter of an episode this time, but getting back into things, um, we will get going as much as we can. I'd like to eventually have that Wither Skull farm. That would be freaking cool. Get some more beacons up in this piece. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please give a big old thumbs up because it does help me get better noticed on YouTube for my Minecraft. Have a good weekend and peace out.